All right, hey guys, welcome to my new filming setup. Hopefully this is gonna be okay with the lighting and everything, we'll see. Um, all right, so we've got London Town lacquer swatches to share with you today. I'm gonna swatch everything on video live with you. So let's go ahead and get started with Cheerio. Um, so Cheerio is one of those thinner formulas. It is sheer, it's the most sheer polish that I'm gonna be showing you today. So I like to do three coats of this. If you're gonna be doing a white tip, it can look really pretty and have that French manicure look, but three coats and you know without doing a white tip nail uh, it looks beautiful too okay so the next one is invisible crown and i love this color so much because it's going to contrast enough with your skin tone it's going to pop and make them look real light and fresh and clean it's a gorgeous wedding color to use i would describe it as like a cherry blossom pink like ultra light sheer cherry blossom pink and it applies beautifully because it has that thin formula so there's no streaking it's really easy like it spreads over your nail it's beautiful it's definitely one of my favorite colors from london town lacquer and in the swatches for invisible crown i did three thin coats um, most of the other nail polishes i've done just two coats okay so those are the two shears of the bunch i'm going to be showing you now we're going on to the opaque creams so if you like the color of Invisible Crown, but it's, you know, since it's a sheer formula and you say want a more opaque cream so you don't see the nail line, you would want Waterloo Sunset, which is also one of my favorites. I love these two colors because they're very similar, but you get the opaque formula with the Waterloo Sunset and you get the, the sheer, beautiful French manicure kind of wedding color with Invisible Crown. So either way, those are like winning colors in my book. Oh, and London Town Lacquer is all cruelty-free. All of their nail lacquers are vegan, except they have, I think one of their nail care products is not vegan, but this, it's only like one or two items at the time of shooting this video, at least. I should specify that. Um, but yeah, all of their colors are vegan and cruelty-free and nine free. Okay, the next one is Out of Office. It's another pink. This was a thicker formula than Waterloo Sunset. So it definitely goes on super opaque and does have that little bit thicker of a formula, at least my bottle does. And it has a, a little bit more warmth, like a little hint of a warm tone pink versus the Waterloo Sunset. So that's Out of Office. Uh, the next one, let's do Duchess. Duchess is a clean, bright, ultra crisp white. So if you love doing clean, bright white nails, especially for summer, that can be fun. And also on the toes, it can make your skin look really tan in comparison, so against the white. The formula is kind of, uh, it does lean a little thicker just because it's so opaque. I think when you have that much pigment, it it definitely adds to the, the viscosity or the thickness of the formula itself. Next is the Full Monty. This is a beautiful nude. I love this color. The formula is thin. It goes on really easily with no streaking whatsoever. So that's one of the best nudes I think I've come across. So I think that's definitely a winning, a winning nude as far as the color and formula goes. Okay, so that was the Full Monty. This one is one of their new colors. This is Briolette. Okay, so on their website, it says an iridescent lavender shade that will keep you looking luminous. This is also from their summer 2018 collection. So it's a cream, but it still has a very fine, super subtle iridescence to it. So if you like those kind of cooler lavender tones, but you still like that pop and light clean look, then that would be a really nice one. Okay, the next one, definitely, I would say this is probably their very best seller on their website. If I had to take a guess, I see it everywhere on the internet. Um, this is Mauve Over. It's almost like that perfect lip color that you've been seeing around, you know, like we've been seeing for a while. It's just like that nudie, mauve like my lips, but better, but in a, a nail polish bottle. It says a dusty soft rose that is sure to grab everyone's attention. This cream demands everyone to move over. Highly recommend that one. Formula, beautiful, um, very easy to apply, no streaking, fully opaque. This is Queen of Hearts. Okay, let's, let's check it out on the website and see. A deep fuchsia pink cream demands a room for the perfect party manicure. It would look really pretty on the toes too. That is definitely a good pedicure color. But yeah, it's got that thin formula. It applies beautifully, it's opaque. So yeah, that deep fuchsia pink, queen of hearts, really pretty one. Okay, the next one is a shimmer metallic. This is best of British. Okay, so it says this liquefied gold shimmer will look like the king's crown melted on your tips. So 
So yes, if you want, if you want to look like your your nails are dripping in gold, best of British. And if you want that extra sparkling nails, like encrusted gold, then uh, get uh, Britannia to go over the top of it. I wish I had it. I wish I still had it. Um, I think I used it up. Yeah, I had because I had it back in Maui. Uh, okay, so this one is Ring Me, the next one, and it's a deep blood red is how I would describe it. A red cream as iconic as the red telephone box. Oh, if you like red nails in general, London Town Lacquer has a really nice selection of reds. It's like all, like all shades of reds. And the next one is, let's see, this is Portobello Plum. And it's a really rich, deep purple. Hit the portobello market with this deep warm plum cream that covers in just one coat. All right, and the last one is Buckingham Blue. This is a rich, deep navy, and it's a cream, fully opaque, and very easy to apply. A couple of like my favorite top coat and base coats that I like to wear with these because that's how you can get a longer lasting manicure, right? And let's see, they, oh, they also have a smudge fix. I'll show you that in a minute too. But I usually use the nail hardener and base coat as far as, you know, the base coat goes for wearing with these. I actually also wear this all the time where I'm, whenever I'm wearing my Zoya nail polishes or whatever too, so I've been using this for a few years. And then also um, I just started using their Fortifying Ridge Filler, which is actually, if you're just, you can wear this all by itself, it's matte. And so when you apply it, it just kind of, it dries matte and it fills in any ridges that you might have or any uh, imperfections. But I use it as a base coat also under the nail lacquers as well. So I sort of just switch, I've just been switching back and forth between the, the nail hardener and the fortifier. For top coat, their best seller is Gel Genius. I usually use this one. It dries pretty quickly. Um, there's also accelerator drops too, drying drops that you can use. Although I just, I just use this. Or if you want to do the matte look, they also have a matte protective top coat so you can add that and you can mattify any nail polish because these are all high shine nail polishes but yeah you can turn any of these into a matte finished nail polish just by using their protective matte top coat i will let you guys go thank you so much for watching i hope that you found the nail swatches helpful and so that way next time you're in ulta and you're checking out the london town lacquer polishes um hopefully you have an idea of what what ones you might want to try out for yourself okay love you guys have an awesome day and i will see you in the next video which is coming up in well i'm gonna be shooting it right now so it'll be, probably be coming tomorrow okay love you guys bye